Hey, what's going on everybody? It's Brandon Dawson and welcome back to another edition of WJBF Digital. And today we are talking to someone that I am a huge fan of, someone whose mission it is to go around town and shine a light on local businesses. So give a big round of applause for Scott Russell, AKA Six Bites Hey, Hey, how you doing brother? How's it going, man? It's such an honor to be here with you. I love everything you do for the community. So this is, this is an honor to be here. I, I'm, I can, what can I say? I'm super excited. I mean, look at how far we've come, you know, just to give everybody a little bit of a, of a background, you know, uh, Scott, I met Scott years ago. Uh, I had started seeing things on Instagram about a guy named Six Bites In who was going around taking big bites of food yeah. and uh, getting people to go to these restaurants. So kind of, kind of my calling card is a big bite of food. And fun fact, you were my first ever news interview. So full just, circle, we're back again. Yeah. You're in a studio now. We're not just out in my front yard. This is amazing. <laughs> so, so for people who don't know, you know, tell us how what Six Bites In is and you know, how it got started. So basically, uh, I started taking pictures for Google. Um, it, it was a joke. And then I started doing it everywhere I went. And my friends were like, you're on to something here. This is a great idea and they made the Instagram for me. I didn't want to do it. And it spiraled out of control in the best way possible for me. Um, and then now I've been able to turn that into um, highlighting local businesses besides food as well with um, Love Augusta. And so we're on, I think we're on episode 100 now with Love Augusta. And it's just been amazing getting to see all the awesome local businesses we have here in town. So give people an idea of, you know, what Love Augusta is. I know that it's you and one of your friends going out, but give us the rundown about what it is. So it started off with me and an amazing videographer named Kyle Jones. He was reaching out to businesses, um, wanting, just offering his service for free. And I was like, man, we're doing the same thing. Let's do this together. And uh, now it's a team of five people that we have now. We have a, a photographer, a graphic designer, an amazing uh, promoter. So it's really turned into a full-fledged um, kind of business for us. And, and it's just, it's uh, one of those things where I never thought it would be this big and I'm just here for it. I love every second of it. Now, What's the response from people, you know? What are the response from some of the businesses, you know, after you do this? And I was just talking to you outside about how I saw, I went to one place, I was in there one day, I was in a restaurant and it was fine. You know, there were a couple people in there. You went in there and took a bite out of something and posted it on Instagram and I come back the next day and I have to wait 30 minutes to get in there. So, yeah. you know, what's the reaction from some of these business owners, you know, when you boost them up like this? I think they're, they're more, they're so appreciative and that's what makes it fun is them being so thankful. But like you were saying, I, I often shoot my own self in the foot because I have to wait just as long <laughs> as you do at the places. But the whole point is to get the word out about these businesses. Um, sometimes they don't have the, the presence on social media that a lot of people do. So I just, I just get to, to kind of put the word out because people need to know about the amazing local businesses we have here in Augusta. And I love that, man. I love what you're doing. And we actually have you in here today because you're doing something else to support a good cause. Right something that I saw in social media, a big event that's coming yeah. up. Perhaps you'd but, like to tell us what that is. Well, uh, before we get to that, I'm gonna go get into something more comfortable. Well, there we ah, have it. This is much better. I'm so much more comfortable now. Now, yeah. what were you saying? Well, we uh, officially have the winner of the best dressed uh, interviewee that I've ever had right the now. The wiener, uh, the wiener. <laughs> All right, so that's what we're here to talk about. Wienerfest, coming oh, yeah. to Augusta. What is it? When is it? Tell me all about it. Well, Brandon, so we, the Love Augusta crew, are teaming up with Savannah River Brewery, and we are putting on the first ever Wienerfest. And we're going to have a hot dog eating competition, vendors selling their own types of hot dogs. Uh, it's going to be a wienerific day. And now, so you're doing, how did all this come about? Tell me about that. You know, what made you guys come together and decide we're gonna do Augusta's first ever Wiener Festival? Well, we were um, in one of our very 
uh, thorough planning meetings, and um, we kind of said, you know, it would be fun to do a hot dog festival. And here we are. We're having a wiener fest now. It just, it was a, a crazy idea. And that's what I like, are crazy ideas, so we're doing it. Now, not only is this, you know, there's going to be, what, hot dog, eat, hot dog eating contests? Yeah, 30 contestants. 30 contestants. Are the, one, the one that eats the most wins the prize. Are people still able to sign up? Oh, yes. We are still taking sign-ups, uh, I think, up until close to the event. So we, it, uh, we're looking for contestants. Are you going to be competing? Um, I sadly... My days of competitive eating are over. Uh, I entered a sausage eating contest one time. By the time I had won, the other guy had finished four. I knew it wasn't for me. And so, you know, what does the winner of the competition get? Uh, so there's uh, a gift basket full of prizes from different uh, promoters, sponsors, and um, just uh, Love Augusta merch. We have a, a pretty big bag for them. So. Now, the one thing that I like about this is, along with everything else with you, you know, this is for a good cause. Yep. You know, yep. what do the proceeds of this go to? So we are raising money for the Dog and Cat Networking Agency. We did a really fun Love Augusta episode with them, and we fell in love with the group. And uh, so we're going to have a way for you to donate to them as well. And so for people who don't know, tell us a little bit about that group. Uh, so they are an amazing uh, adoption foster group here in town. Um, they're very thorough with their adoptions and they, they just love the animals and you can tell and that's something I can get behind. Now, one thing I gotta ask you, you know, so where are all these hot dogs coming from? Who's providing the, the hot dogs? Where's that all so, happening? So one of our main sponsors is the Fat Man's Group and they're actually donating 600 hot dogs. So if, between 30 people, they can eat 600 hot dogs. I will be very impressed. That is a lot of hot it's dogs. a lot of hot dogs. Okay, so just so, we're, you know, we're getting here close to the end. Uh, give us the rundown again. If people are trying to, you know, get involved with this, where do they go? What do they do? All right, so you can go to loveaugusta.co is the website. Uh, Love Augusta's Facebook page. There's a Wiener Fest Facebook page where you can go. Um, we have... Uh, Instagram, Love Augusta, guys, pretty much any way you want to find out about it, you can. It's May 20th at Savannah River Brewery, and we would love to see everybody out there. It's a free event, uh, so come hungry, come thirsty, and it's going to be a great time for everyone. Well, you've sold me on it. Yes. I'll be there. I don't know if I'll be competing in the competition. Yeah. I'm, I... It's a, it's a, I mean, it's a tall order. We have some big eaters here in Augusta. So, I mean, come hungry if you're competing in that competition because... Are you going to have like a championship belt for the, for the person who wins? Uh, we're going to make that happen. I like that I, idea. Yeah, I think you got you to gotta have you gotta a belt because that. they got to come back next year and they got to... We will. We are. I remember now. Sorry. We're doing a trophy. Uh, Sashir from Tire City Potters is making a custom trophy oh, for it. Oh, that's perfect. So... Uh, That'll be really awesome. There you go. So that'll see the winner can have the trophy. They can bring it back next year and they can defend their title. Yes. So this was, so you plan on having, if this goes well, we're going to definitely have a Wiener Fest 2. Oh, I guarantee you there's going to be a Wiener Fest 2 because this is going to be a great event. Scott, as always, it's a pleasure to have you. Thank you so looking, much, Randy. Looking forward uh, to Wiener Fest. I will definitely go there and check it out. And if you guys are looking to find out some of the info on it, we're going to leave it at the bottom of the article so you can find out all the info and find out where to go. Until next time, this is Brandon Dawson, WJBF News Channel 6.